again. I may have had a solution for the, the mirror, so we'll see what how that happens. In a bit. Anyways, it is June tenth, no, twelfth. <laughs> About uh, almost six o'clock in the evening. It's been slow. Okay, because we're still coming out of the wipeout. effects of the uh, sort of the milkshake diet that I'm doing which is uh, made with uh, the uh, Chinese herbal tea and this is a custom blend it's not uh, uh, something you can get on the market easily so I learned how to sort of make uh, Chinese teas and then also Indian as well it just depends on spices you use so that's, that's the, prim the primary thing <laughs> wasn't necessarily aware of this or before you you could use a lot of different ingredients not just the tea leaf uh, in the tea uh, but you have to be careful because uh, it does have a physiological effect you're making basically a medicine Chinese and the Indians eat and drink their medicine it's part of their food part of their diet <laughs> So basically the rule is when you're doing this type of work or experimentation is first 48 hours you should watch for any adverse effects, anything that's negative, that, you know, doesn't doesn't feel right. Beyond that, you want to see if the tea is actually working. So you want to if you've got you see positive positive effects in the in, within the 48 hours as well uh, you want to see them two weeks out if they're still there two weeks out the next goal is six months then from six months to two years <laughs> So the physiology of of diet really does matter. But the thing is, that the, because you're going the, the way the organic chemistry works, uh, you're using your bodies uh, uh, as an indicator as to how things are going. Uh, it does take time. You're looking at uh, as I said, uh, first 48 hours for negative effects. Uh, and also the positive effect, but more or less, you want to you make sure that you're not doing any damage. Then, two weeks out, one month out, uh, and then uh, six months out. And that will sort of uh, give you an indication. What I'm seeing now is I'm seeing a flattening of my stomach, I'm seeing uh, sort of the creation of abdominal of abdominal ridges, those would be the you call the six pack. I'm seeing that, so and they weren't there before. So this is something new. So I would say overall that the effect is positive, it works well.
So I'll continue along with that. My meditation is hit, hit a road bump. It's not that I've, uh, I've stopped doing it. It just slowed down from what it was. What I have is as things fall off, you just sort of dust yourself off. You get up. You sort of say, get up, dust yourself off, and uh, uh, continue on your way. Sometimes you down longer than others, uh, other times. It depends on how hard you actually fell. Like a wipeout is pretty significant. A crash is one thing, but a wipeout is, uh, uh, is, uh, is several degrees worse than a crash. So the whole cycle begins again. Start from the base, you work your way up to uh, wherever you can get to until the next crash or next wipe up, and then move from there. Nose is running, my eyes are, are, are tearing up. Uh, so it seems my sinuses are a little off. It's alright. I'll be in my place shortly. My second place. <laughs> not exactly what it should be.
day today and more people are freaking out about uh, CVD I think laws or no laws people are sufficiently freaked out that uh, the damage is going to be done for a very People are attacking each other. They're, they're literally attacking each other. So the decision that even though they're opening up tomorrow for the churches and everything, I'm not going to go to church because the thing is it's going to be way too tense. Uh, a whole new round of paranoia has popped up. And to me, the best situation, the best thing is simply to avoid it. Departments of added, and this is how you can tell it's a complete crop. The nomenclature is completely off. I'm talking about nomenclature before how things are named. Anything within, anything that's a virus or anything that is within uh, protein chemistry, DNA, and so on and so forth, the nomenclature comes from organic chemistry. If it's a subatomic particle, electron, proton, uh, neutron, uh, neutrino, stuff like that, uh, boson, these are all within the category of quantum physics and um, particle physics. Most of, most of the nomenclature that you're hearing now on, the, on, on TV is completely incorrect. This is how you know it's, it's, it's something that's uh, not, is, well, basically a psyop but not a very good one playing on people's lack of knowledge because they're using incorrect terms VOC is, is supposed to be volatile organic uh, compounds these are typically the compounds that produce uh, volatile fumes that explode the, 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 fume, the gasoline fumes are just one. Uh, they vaporize very easily and therefore represent a risk of flash fires, of, of explosion, if exposed to spark or flame. However, they've corrupted this term these idiots, that's the only way to describe them, and I'll be using the uh, Dostoevsky uh, uh, term in reference. As, as variants of concern, when the entire nomenclature of CVD covers all variants. cover all variants means that it is not a, a CBD vaccine. 
it means they are experimenting. This is an experimental vaccine. They don't really know what it does, but they're experimenting on the general public. And this is not this is not unusual. The CDC and the American government, and in fact a large number of governments, have experimented on other people for a long time. It's not anything that's new. Think back into history, and this is not even too far into the past. There was a drug called thal thalidomide for uh, infertile women, and they started giving it to everybody because they were experimenting on the people. It caused a lot of birth defects, and a lot, a, most of the birth defects were of the order that it, it basically uh, caused miscarriages. Yet this was labeled as a fertility drug. So what happens is that you have a large chunk of this stuff going on in history where you have, and you see the typically done with a number of different groups, including those who are eugenicists, who want to get rid of a certain amount of population. They are out there just to simply, to, you know, well, we have too many human beings on Earth, we need to get rid of them, let's do it this way. You know, experiment on them, the number who die, uh, that's okay, that's part of the, that's part of the, uh, uh, experimental calculus, if you will. It's the same, same, same thing with 9-11, right? The number of people who died in 9-11. Well, part of the experimental calculus. It, they were, it was an acceptable uh, number for the impact, the military impact that it had. That is what it did. It, it turned all the United States back into one massive prison camp. Everyone became paranoid. This was the war on terror. And people who normally would talk about liberty and freedoms now began saying that uh, we had to turn our liberties in and that for the, for, for the greater common good. Uh, so, the, so this CBD isn't anything new. And the thing is that we're still within the whole, we're still within the framework of CBD. The question is where things are going to go from now, because we're approaching the end of it. So that means there's going to be something new. And already I'm starting to see on, on, on the internet popping up these different uh, these little different uh, sort of conspiracy theory type groups, these uh, lecturers talk, talking about Plan B. <laughs> and here they was now saying that CBD didn't work. It's over with. And so now it's on to Plan B. The question is, what's Plan B?